how to go from that to this. First, you're just gonna need a flathead screwdriver that you're gonna stick in here, and you're just gonna pry it out, and you're gonna grab it with your hand and just pull it down, and then this part comes out like that. Then there's a metal thing right here. This side clips in by pushing in, and that side slides in like this. So all you need to do is pull it down here, and then slide it out. There we go. And then you pull it out. In one of the Chrysler forms, someone said these ones worked for their interior LEDs. However, for me, I found that the socket here is just, is, it's the right length, but it just fits loosely inside the socket. So what I did is I wrapped it in some aluminum foil, and that made it work nice and snug, and it works perfectly. So there we go. There's my thing wrapped in aluminum foil. I'm just going to pop it in. After you got it snapped back in, you want to get the bulb retainer back in. So you just slide one side into the slot, and then you pinch it down like this and get it to fit into that hole there. There we go, and that'll hold the bulb in so it won't come out. You want to make sure your bulb faces through the slot so all the light comes out. Then you take your plastic cover, make sure this part goes over the button, and then click the thing into those two things right there. And you're done. The rear interior dome light. All you do is stick a screw, uh, flathead screwdriver on the back. This is the, this way is the rear part of the vehicle. You stick your screwdriver in there and pry down. Let's see if you can pull it out. There you go. And then you can see there's two tabs on this front part that come out like that. You just grab it and pull it out. And then you take your new LED. Then you just gotta take these things and make sure the tabs go behind the headliner but above this one notch right here. There you go, and then you just click it in place. And you're done.